have some plot points for Star Wars The Acolyte, thanks to Daphne Keene. I've been very excited about this show. I'm really, really hyped. I like when we get into like the the gritty minutia of the Jedi Order. Me too. You know, it's fun. It's fun. And I don't care what anyone says. Great, great Jedis do exist. All right. Read a book. Go check it out. But this comes to us from the folks over at Star Wars Newsnet. So we've got this lovely description here that says, I mean, as you know, it's set 100 years before the prequel movies, and it's kind of an explanation of how the Sith infiltrated the Jedi. It's a Sith-led story, which has never been done before. It's been really fun to film. The cast is amazing, and the director and crew are just lovely. The whole experience is wonderful, and I'm already excited for people to see it. And that comes from Daphne Keene herself. I mean, I'm really hyped about a Sith focused story. I think that's going to be really fun to see things from their perspective because as we know from the the novels or from the games too, you know, the the light side isn't always the best side. They also do morally ambiguous things. They've done some questionable things, and I think it'll be really cool to get that Sith focused story. John, when you hear about this, what are you excited about? Well, I look, I've been really pumped about Acolyte ever since they announced it during what was it two and a half years ago now? that Disney Investor's Day's call, psyched about it, the idea of looking at it from the point of view of the Sith. But I've been worried that even though they say they're going to do that, how many times have we seen movies where it's like, now you're going to cheer for the bad guy, but the bad guy isn't really a bad guy. They're a good guy, right? The idea that we may actually look at a Sith-centric story where the Sith is the antagonist or the protagonist, I mean, mm -hmm. is the Sith is our actual protagonist of the story. And to see that whole idea about how they infiltrate the Jedi Order, I love that we're starting to get these details at this point. I can't wait to see Daphne Keene in this. This Because again, I was afraid that it would be called the Acolyte, but it would really focus on some Jedi and who are discovering who this is. But to find out from Daphne Keene that this is actually going to be a Sith-centered story, I love it. This sounds great to me. Uh, same here. And I love that you bring up the whole protagonist antagonist thing here, too, because for me, some of the best stories kind of turn that on its head. Right. Batman, I think, is the most successful when Batman is the antagonist and we focus on the the rogues gallery, if you will, as our protagonist. I think that's when the story really thrives. So I'm really excited to see how that works here for this. Rob, what are your thoughts? Well, I, you know, I I'd, I'd like to delve into more of what what do the Sith want? Mm. You know, they 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 I would love to hear more sith philosophy because okay you've inherited I, i've always felt this way about stories about the devil like coming to the earth like let's say the devil were to win when he comes down to georgia devil yeah absolutely because <laughs> he's in a bind he's willing to he's willing to make a deal Rob and i like to sing it off camera together. yeah we, we, we sing the charlie daniels band song devil went down to georgia but 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 like if the sith win and essentially we saw them rise to power at the end of revenge of the sith what do they what do they want to do like do they want to take care of like public schools in the Star Wars universe. Yes. And I, I, I mean that tongue in cheek, but in a way I would love to know what would, what do the Sith hope to accomplish by taking over? Mm -hmm. And, and I, I hope that the acolyte, the name itself, uh, I think we're going to learn a lot about that. And, and that's the thing I'm most excited about is I love seeing the Star Wars universe expanded upon and, or did it such a, oh, a yeah. great job of showing what is, why is an empire bad? What is what is the reason that we need to defeat this? And we saw this. And 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 how does a rebellion begin? I think all of that backstory just accentuates the Star Wars universe. And I'm really, I mean, I have to say, I'm really excited for the show. And I'm hoping that the Acolyte uh, really delves into, really drills down on the Sith and what exactly they want and how they work. So I can't wait. They, they have fun. to be worse than the the uh, b villains we're watching on Andor right now because they, they are the top level evil, right? In the Star Wars. Well, theoretically, a lot of times the Sith, it's just giving in to hate, you know? And I think we can argue that a lot of good people give in to feelings of hatred every now and then, you know? Sometimes, you see it every day on the 101, right? right? Like, <laughs> we're trying to move through Surrounded our lives. Surrounded by the Sith. Kind of <laughs> gent gentle, gentler people, but you know, that's a lot of what happens with the Sith is want, desire, hatred, those things. Does that make you an inherently bad human being? Because what I think they were doing to Bix in Andor was uh, pretty brutal to like, you know, whatever they were doing to her. It has to be worse than that. Mm -hmm. Right. That's what I, I think. Or, I mean, all good villains think that they are right. Yeah. Right. 
no one yes. no one ever thinks they're the bad guy you feel justified in your own cause typically and what we've mostly seen in the past with star wars is more of that kind of mustache twirling i'm the bad guy i kidnap princesses and do bad things which i think has a time and place i think those stories are super fun but it is exciting to see them delve more into is there someone who's truly right or truly good and truly evil and truly wrong mm -hmm. but Time will tell with this show. Guys, let us know what you think about this plot point for the Acolyte. Are you super excited? Can you not wait to see Daphne Keene? Let us know your thoughts in the comments down below. We want to thank a sponsor of today's episode, Stamps.com. Guys, it happens every holiday season. No matter how prepared we think we are for the season, it always turns out we're nowhere near as prepared as we thought we were, especially with our shipping. And right about now, seasonal excitement, or dread as the case may be, is really starting to settle in, especially for small businesses. Slaying through traffic to the post office? Inboxes more like a blizzard than a winter wonderland? Rushing to send cards and gifts to your loyal clients? The good news is it's not too late to get your holiday mailing and shipping under control with Stamps.com. Sign up now and you'll be printing your own postage in minutes. Because Stamps.com is your one-stop shop for all of your shipping and mailing needs. Get access to the United States Postal Service and UPS services that you need to run your business right from your computer. Up to 86% off. So this holiday season, trade late nights for silent nights and get started with Stamps.com today. Sign up with promo code Campia for a special offer that includes a four-week trial plus free postage and a free digital scale. No long-term commitments or contracts. Just go to stamps.com, click the microphone at the top of the page, and enter the code Campia.